Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and I just ate some cereal. Let's do this. Awesome, let's do this. So, uh, we could finally kill this little rat boy. So, uh, let's do it. Although, you know, we'll, he'll probably end up coming back and being equally as irritating, but still, you know, he might not. Maybe. For a bit. Maybe. Also, I've got plenty of heroes now. Feels good, actually. Feels good. Feels good. Probably just hang out here, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here. I was gonna hang out here. Hmm. Cool cave. How did we get here? Hmm. Cool, though. Anyway, uh, right. We we killing all the things? I hope so. Okay, let's hit that uh, plague priest. That's gonna be Howling Warp Gale, isn't it? Nope, wither. Oh, good. Thanks. Hmm. It's running away. I don't want to get hit by the armor piercing of the night runners. What bother? All right, stop that, please. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good. I don't mind what he's attacking either. The grudge throw. You can take whatever he likes. Okay, good. Quarrelers! Cool. Okay. Attack them, please. And really, he's coming for me. Wow. Thanks. I mean, good luck. Wow, he's got away. How did he manage that? Cheeky git. Oh, my word. Hello. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're gone. Terrified. <laughs> oh, the Grombrindle can cause terror. One of my favourite things about him. Uh, right, you go over there. You lot. Yeah, you'll deal with those warp grinders pretty quick. Uh, so, make sure you're on guard mode and attack them. Snitch is on his way back, though, you know. Will that matter? Probably not. Yep, that worked out pretty well. Okay, he's still going, though. He's still going. Wow. A lot of guys over here. A lot of guys. Huh. Really getting a good flank on me. How is Snitch living? I'm even mad. I'm kind of impressed. Alright. So yeah, this is ridiculous that our quarrelers have been fighting all of that. Oh, oh hello. I only scared the side spears. Alright, we're coming for him. Now uh set fire to him if you would. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. We can probably go help over there, right? Maybe. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, snakes got killed. Snakes got killed. Run over there. And. Janocopter! Oh, we're kind of done already over there. Cool. Uh, you can start shooting stuff, I suppose. Start shooting stuff. Hmm. Yep, you shoot them. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're basically good. And. Oh, he's nearly dead. There he goes. Alright, killed Lord and Hero. That's always a good sign. These Porolas survived in melee for a long, long time. And that's what happens when you bring entire armies of Skaven slaves. For some reason, the Skaven slaves aren't very good. I know. Who would have guessed? God. This map looks really cool when the lighting's working. Because I'm pretty sure this is the map that the lighting has been broken in recently. You know? The one I've moaned about in previous episodes. I mean, it's still a little off. Still a little off. You can see the fog, you know. But uh, the shadows are working. It's just the fog, which sort of... I think that's a different effect to the shadows, basically. Anyway, let's end the battle. Decisive victory. Excellent. Excellent news. So, <laughs> we lost 44 men, and they lost 3,314. So, we did, we did alright. Did alright. 
Uh, right. Occupy. He's dead. So that's a grudge removed. Though, still not looking great. So we've got three grudges, you see. So, um, but we did it. We did it. So they're dead. We've got the Wolflands back, which means we can put this back on to... Uh, that's the point. How's the... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait. Is the corruption bad enough that we need to actually venerate our ancestors? Um... Or do we just want to go with growth? Yeah, let's venerate the ancestors. I am going to upgrade this, though. Even though we are trying to save some money. I want to make sure this gets built. Alright, cool. So, next turn, we can hop over here. Towards Darkhold. And then head into their territory. Uh, I'm going to get Rune of Oath and Steel. I know I did mention in an earlier episode, it's a sort of pointless thing. Because, you know, anything with armor piercing will be able to do damage regardless. And... Anything that doesn't have armor piercing basically isn't going to hurt you as is because dwarves have really high armor anyway. Just that extra armor makes very little difference, but still. Runic gate would be nice. For mount gun bad. I don't think it's ever going to get attacked, though. And it's got iron breakers in the garrison. I think we'll be fine. Uh, right. Yes, you there. Start running the other way, please. Thank you. And Thorgrim. Uh, God, we can recruit a lot of stuff here. It's very tasty. Mm. Right. How long? One more turn. One more turn. And he can get organ guns. I mean, a couple of cannons, a couple of organ guns, and the rest of the army could be, um, uh, iron, uh, iron drakes. That could be fun. <laughs> be a lot of iron drakes, but do I care? Do I care? I mean, is there such thing as too many Iron Drakes? Probably not. I'd, I'd be surprised. Okay, I think that's the end of the turn, then. I think that's the end of the turn. It's very misleading, because we have so much money, and usually I'm all about spending the money. So, Azag is up here again. Because, yeah, it seems like um, Ekron's about to fall, so I think their only territory will actually be the Black Iron Mine. So, yeah, I think they're probably going to try and get Black Crag back. Which would be awesome if they tried to do that. I think that'd be a really cool final fight for the faction Black Crag. That, you know, them actually trying to take Black Crag back off us. So hopefully, fingers crossed. I have the hiccups. I shouldn't have eaten that cereal. Terrible idea. Shouldn't eat just before, uh, you know, before recording. It's a silly idea. Anyway, uh, let's go. Let me guess, you want me to attack the vampires? Yeah, I thought you would. I thought you'd be asking that. No, I'm sorry to say. <gasps> They're attacking Valea's Sorrow. Actually, kind of surprised you could reach that. Um. Ooh. Uh. Ee. Ooh. And other such noises. I think we could maybe handle this. Maybe. It's going to be rough. For sure. For sure, it's going to be rough. But we might be able to handle it. It just depends if the Quarrelers can deal with the Biggins effectively enough. So, let's do it. Valea's Sorrow. Miners! Miners! Alright. Let's actually box you up so there's more room to shoot around you. It will probably be a bit painful for them. Uh, because they do have the uh, the Goblobber, of course. But, well. There's no well. Just, yeah, it's going to hurt. They're going to end up dying. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Because, um, Vilea wheels it. Alright, that'll do. Okay, done. Okay, now please don't kill everybody. You know what? Let's move these guys up a bit. Okay, now please die. Goblobber. Oh good, it's missing. Ugh. Ah. Yeah, it's the biggins that need to go. Okay, now please. Destroy those goblobbers. Please. Ugh. I'm to group these guys so I can get to them quickly. Uh, all three of you, those orc boys, those are big ones. I'm going to pull them back. 
Ow. Okay. Good. Good. How's that looking? Still haven't destroyed any. That's annoying. Well, we're getting some good damage into the big ones. And there are the rusty arrows. So I need to kill them. You guys start running off that way. Spirit leech, of course. And, ugh. Definitely problems. Oh. Those more biggins. They are. Need to get rid of the rusty arrows first, though. That armor sundering is going to hurt like hell. Oh, those are more biggins, too. And this is bad. Okay, you need to go. Please go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now you lot, shoot those biggins. Okay. Okay, good. Ugh. Okay, you start moving back. Still trying to hit them. Not doing great. Ugh. Okay. Come on, boys. We're doing alright. Sort of. Ah, they're running too. Crap. Okay. God, how have you not got rid of them yet? Come on, boys. Okay, start shooting at them. Okay, good. Start shooting at them. Those are more big ones. Of course they are. And, alright, as is going to try and bother us. They're going down, which is great to see. I like that. Oh, they're broken. Good. And, uh, you lot, uh, I don't know, attack what you can, I suppose. And we are hitting them, which is very nice to see as well. Okay, you guys start running. Okay, good. Good. You start going for those you know, like goblin archers just because they're uh, vulnerable. Okay, good. I start shooting those big ones. Okay, we're getting through them. Mostly. Okay, need to shoot them. Okay, good. Quarrelers! Okay, that's great news. Okay, you know what? Start shooting those old boys. Okay, this is going quite well. Don't like how injured they are, though. And they're about to get recharged, so they're almost certainly going to break. Oh god, they're all breaking too. Yeah, I don't know the chariot's still going too. Okay, how are you getting on? Not terribly. Just, you know, badly. Okay. okay come on, boys. Okay, you're doing alright. You're doing alright. Okay, turn around and charge. Ah, they're all getting wrecked. Come on, boys. Just ignore Azag. Right, keep keep shooting, people. Keep shooting those orcs. Go for those biggins, please. You go for those goblins. You know what? Don't go for the goblins. They've got no armor piercing and very low um, missile damage, so don't worry about it. Okay, you start shooting them in the side, if you could. Ah, that's going to hurt. Okay, good. Good stuff. You guys start running over there. You guys try and get online if you could. Okay, keep running. Oh, you know what? You're going to have to fight them. I need these guys to stop flipping moving. Come on, boys. Okay, you guys came back. Go for those big ones, please. <laughs> you guys keep running. Perfect. <laughs> they have wronged us. Okay, that's really good news. Can't we got artillery back online? That's massive. Oh, how are they still going? Come on! Uh, do I start shooting into them? No, I start shooting to them, I think. Okay, 
Okay. Don't like those uh, Goblin Wolf chariots either, but luckily they are very injured. So, where is that? Ugh. Okay. Don't start shooting Azag. Is that what I want to start doing? It does look like our Dwarf Warriors are winning over here. Which is pretty good. Though maybe I do just want to start shooting Azag. Okay, come on. These guys are unbreakable, so... I do need to shoot them, really. Okay. I'm getting them. It's just taking a little while. Come on. There's only 20 of them left. Rear charge. Hopefully do the job. God, he's going to be a problem, you know. Try and get rid of that chariot. You guys should be able to finish them. Okay, you don't keep going for them. Oof. Come on, guys. Okay, only one left. Now, need dealt with. Bounce power is very close still. And I'm pretty sure I just saw someone over that hill as well. Ah, that sucks. Okay, I almost got rid of him. I'm not going to move. I think that would be a mistake. Okay, please kill Azag. Oh, okay, you can kill Azag, I've decided. <laughs> okay, chariots are gone. Chariots are gone. Alright. We may have it. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, need to maximize the damage here, for sure. Ugh, should you be doing that anymore? Probably not, honestly. Oh, how about don't nearly break? Warriors are rallying, huh? Oh, good. Okay, we may have him. We may have him. No, you keep shooting them. Okay, Azag's pretty injured. We've got some more armor piercing here on our miners, so... That armor piercing helped get through that ace armor. Probably shouldn't be shooting, honestly. Just you. Mm, we can't really hit him with um, artillery, so maybe... Maybe he should just keep attacking. It looks like we might have him, but... It's close. I think mostly... Ugh. That's a problem. I think most of his value is coming from the fact that he's a spellcaster. So, the fact that he's got no ammo left. Got no ammo, got no winds of magic left. Or certainly very little. I think we may be able to take advantage of that. Right, come on, guys. Gotta be aggressive here. No, you can't start wavering, alright? That's not... It's not part of our bargain. Oh. Oh. What's he doing? Just wanting to get shot at, huh? They're out of ammo. These guys still have some ammo, but there's not many of them, so... But this is weird behavior. And get some extra damage into him. Which is nice. Strange. Alright. Cool. Weird. Huh. Bounce power starting to go in our favor. His leadership looking pretty low. One more charge from this side, do it. 
taking some damage. Yeah, looks like we did it. Looks like we did it. Quite close, huh? Quite close fight. There you guys pull back. Let's shoot me in the back a bit. My word. Well, this is crazy. No, no, don't waver. No one said you could do that. Really? Really? These guys are alive? Okay, shoot them. Shoot them, please. No, drop it. You got no ammo. Run away. <laughs> you lunatic. Yeah, you run to Jupiter. Is there a Warhammer Jupiter? I'm going to assume so. Okay, good. Good. Nice. There we go. Ah, my word. Did it, guys. We did it. Pyrrhic victory. That was a hell of a fight. That was super close. Job well done, boys. Job well done. Snorri Brightex. Good lad. And, yeah, we wiped out every single unit except Azak. That is perfect. He's not about to recruit anything else. <laughs> That's amazing. I can't believe we managed it. I really can't. Uh, I'm going to release their captives. That's right, releasing their captives. That's what we're sticking with. And Wurzag. Oh, God, please don't attack Valea Sorrow. I think he might be headed for Valea Sorrow. I have to do it all over again. Except... I doubt replenishment's going to give me that whole army yet. It's probably going to be a couple turns. <laughs> so, that's a bit iffy. They may still take it. Oh, God. There's another chaos invasion. Oh. <laughs> really? Yep, another chaos invasion. There's three stacks, at least. There's Sigvold and two others. So, yeah, three chaos stacks. And... These guys time to get amorous again. Oh. You're under siege, aren't you? Possibly by Norskins? Not sure. Uh, no. Sorry, lad. Well, we, uh, we at least <laughs> ticked off another one of these grudges. That's something. That's something. We did defeat Azag like the Slaughterer. My word. Oh, and you still haven't taken Karagazul. Are you serious? Because I kind of need to get over here and help out Valea Sorrow a tad, because uh, that doesn't bode well. Oh. Similarly dangerous army, too. Probably more dangerous, actually. Because, uh, yeah, two heroes. Crap. I have 20k, which is great, but I need to spend it. Hmm. Hmm. All right, you and uh, oh, I can get very nice things. I can get very nice things here, but I kind of want the Iron Breakers to be elsewhere. Also, Vectik we need to deal with. Uh, seen by an enraged Grungni, the, ste uh, the stealing Thagaraki raid our lands, taking our hard-earned treasures and innocent Dawi lives. Revenge is demanded. Hmm. I do like that, um, even though Black Crag is basically wiped out, as in the faction, not that settlement, um, they're basically wiped out, but they're still being a pain. They're still finding ways to be to be dangerous. So let's get the Dragonback Slayers, and I'm not going to get the Peak Gate Guard. That's all I'm getting, apparently. That's all I'm getting. <laughs> it's a bit rubbish. Um, and more armor, I guess, because... The miners don't have much armor, so this might keep people going a little longer. Let's try that. Let's try that. And, um... Strike the runes. Should have gone damping, actually. Crap. Because, yeah, that's another couple of brain bursters right there. Oh, my word. Hopefully, that'll just put them off. You know, that'll just put off our enemies, and they won't attack us. We'll see. We'll see. And now, you, Mr. Holdfast. Mr. Holdfast. You loiter there. Get a bit of replenishment from loitering there, and, um, yeah. All good. All good. So, we found the Itter it tribe. Yeah, man. Yep. Destruct. Destruction. 
Really on the nose. Uh, no, I'm going to say no. Uh, no diplomacy yet with him, because I might want to vanquish him and take his islands for my own. Because that's how I roll. I'm not going to tax that, you know. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother taxing it. Here, let's go with Trinket Market. Trinket Maker, rather. Cool. All right. So, how much is this going to cost us? 16. Oh. All right. No. Bargain. All right. So we've got Karaza Karak upgrading to max level. Uh, it does mean that we can't afford all the other tasty weapons we were going to get. Because I was going to get some iron drakes. Three turns. Really? Ugh. Organ guns would be nice, of course. Trollhammer torpedoes would also be great, and potentially a lot better for dealing with all the big monsters we're going to be dealing with. But actually, I guess I only really need to deal with all the infantry, although I've got satchel charges for that. Okay, I feel like Iron Drakes might be surplus to requirements in this army, especially if we're going to have like a couple of organ guns. So I might just get like three organ guns, and then the rest can be long beards. It's going to be an insanely powerful army. It's going to be insanely good. Like, huge amount of artillery. Um, although I was going to get Thunderers as well, wasn't I? Okay, so yeah. Three organ guns. And... Three Thunderers. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Cool. Alright. Something like that. Obviously nothing yet, because I'm poor. I have no money. So, you know, not yet. <laughs> Soon. Uh, right. Let's have a look. I really don't want rat poison. Um, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. Construction time down for, um, settlement buildings, which is nice. Hmm. Or, you know, I could finally give dwarf missile units more ammo, or extra recruit rank for things. Reload time reduction for rangers. I start working away there. I won't, I won't bother getting this just yet. Although 20% is pretty huge. But uh, I do like the idea of actually getting more ammunition for our boys, you know? And reload time reduction is just super useful. That's going to be good for all of our garrisons. You know that last battle we just had? Would have probably won it a lot closer. Had a lot more people survive that. So, let's crack on. And yes, you keep running that way. But yeah, all that artillery is really going to help us against chaos. It's going to help us a lot. Ah, his bows are attacking. Okay, I think with the casualties we've suffered already, I don't know if we can do this. I really don't. I really don't know if we can do this. But, I'm certainly going to try. Even though, my god, the odds are against us. Um, Alright, let's do it. <laughs> my word. Uh, Dragonback Slayers seem to just be, like, the guys that we bring in to die every single time, but... <laughs> oh well. So, this guy is gonna run off on his own. Okay, he's gonna run off on his own. And go fight them. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, and, um... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do what we did last time, basically. I'm gonna throw these guys out. Spread them out a bit. Oh, and you need to not bother doing that. Okay. Yeah, really not a lot of infantry. He's going to hang back, though. He's going to hang back. Don't need the Slayers yet. Alright, go deal with him, yeah? And he's running away. How much is he running away? Thing is, I want him to just hit me with Spirit Leeches. Like, over and over. Because that would be great. Ah, good. Good, he's doing it. Pretty sure. Wow, he's taking a huge amount of damage. Seriously? We haven't hit him once? Okay, I totally thought that he would survive. You know, I thought he'd be able to hit the guy once, but nope. <laughs> oh my god. Really? We still haven't hit him? Really, dude? Oh my god, we're gonna lose him. Well, this was a mistake. Really? Couldn't it hit him once? He's gonna die. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, I know that 
it's a legendary lord and everything, but that's ridiculous. That is absolutely obscene. He's shattered. He, of course he is. Oh, my word. Alright, well, there goes our lord. I can't believe we couldn't even hit him once. Pathetic. Oh. 19 damage. 19 health left. Good. Good stuff. God, that was pathetic. Okay, you guys go and fire at will. Uh, aim for the biggins. We have two lords that we need to kill now. Without a lord. Which sucks. Not ideal. Oh, I need to be spread out because he's got... Uh, yeah, he's going to be hitting us with that constantly, isn't he? Oh, what? Another... What? How dare you. How very rude. Not happy with that. Where's like No manners. No manners, that guy. Oh, dear. Alright, let's get these guys grouped. Everybody go for the biggins. In fact, I'm grouping all of you. Everyone go for these biggins. Although, actually, I will need to go for these uh, Muggles Mage Marauders as soon as they are in range. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. More biggins at the back. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the Night Goblins as well. Okay. Ah, stop it. Please stop it. Oof. Okay, how are things looking? I mean, quite crap, honestly. Ugh. They're running out that way. I'll leave him. Alright, you know what? I am going to put that in its own group. Wait, what? Okay, this. Ort boys, ort boys. Where are the biggins then? It's just them. There's a couple stuck in there, apparently. Oh, please stop hitting them over and over. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't going to work, is it? This isn't going to work at all. Alright, you get in there. You start shooting them in the back. You guys, aim for them. Okay, Slayer's running in. Kill Wurzak for me, won't you? Alright, yep. Slayer time. Come on, boys. You can do this. They can't. They can. We're very, very much going to lose this one. Almost certainly. Ah, oh, that gets some damage in. Not much, but enough. Ugh, I'm not gonna break in a sec. Ah, oh, there's a brain burster. Ugh. Hey, that. How are you doing? Not bad, not bad. And Wurzag is suffering. Ooh, his night goblins are doing a little too well. They're holding, though. That guy's are holding. Oh, boys. You can do this. Okay. Good. Move up and around. Okay, we're getting some good damage into them. Okay, we'll shoot the Orc boys. You guys will move that way. Okay, this is still going well. FG to get a good shout, actually. Oh, those Night Goblins now. Okay, that's looking good. And we still have some slayers. Not many, but some. Okay, you guys all retreat. Okay. Suddenly, I'm feeling a little better about this. Okay, where's I still going? Okay, you guys turn around, start shooting them. Okay, 
Okay. Good. Good hit. Okay, some good shots. Okay, I'll go for them. Because we're chasing them down rather nicely. Okay, good. Okay, good. You start running back. Okay, excellent. Start shooting to that. Okay, suddenly, things are looking quite good. Things are looking pretty good. Oh, there go the Slayers. We lost the Slayers. But, still. So things are going quite well. All things considered. Okay. Now, go for them. And now, try and kill Wurzag. Who's being very, very dodgy. Come on. Yeah, we're getting some good hits into him, but not enough, sadly. And, oh, that's the problem again. Okay. Okay, come on. God, this is close. Oh. Ah, right about over here. And here, and here. That's problematic. Okay, we're getting that. Getting that. Okay, how are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Okay, go for those Night Goblin Archers, please. And, ah. Uh, these guys are breaking. Oh, Mogul's Major Marauders are back. What? You little swine. Okay, you know what? You actually keep shooting that way. That's fine. Okay, good. Come on. Get a nice good hit in there. Good. Come on, kill that piggy. And you have to kill some of these mangy marauders. You really do. You do not realize how important this is. Okay. Everyone get on top of him. Oh, thank God. Thank God. You guys keep hitting them. Okay, you guys are back. Okay, they're breaking. We're hitting them nicely. We've broken Wurzag. We might have done it. We might have done it. <laughs> I really didn't think we'd get this. Especially because that one rune smith, that one rune lord couldn't hit. <laughs> they couldn't hit Azag once. <laughs> oh, it's so pathetic. Oh, no, you're out of ammo. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're just going to keep running. So we need to catch up to this guy now. Those major marauders need to go. Okay, you guys get together. And you're out of ammo now. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, Brain Buster. Oh, I can't believe you still got magic left. You dodgy little git. No, no, I clicked him. Damn it. Oh, good. They shattered. That's, that's a big deal. That is a big deal. You keep chasing them. You go for them. Come on. Please kill this orc. Please kill this boy. Well, there's only Quarrelers fighting him, but still. Looks like he's breaking. Come on. You can do it. You keep chasing. As long as they're not shooting me, like, these quarrelers doing their job. 400 health. <gasps> Shattered. Oh my god. We did it. Again. Very surprised. I was quite surprised at the last battle. Now I'm incredibly surprised. <laughs> Jeez. Well played, boys. Well played. Job well done. My word. I can't believe that. Though, um... Yeah, we didn't wipe out the army like we did the last time. So, eep. Not ideal. Hmm. Hmm. I think we just need to execute them. I think we need replenishment for our garrison, so I'm not going to limit that for uh, such a piddly amount of money. So let's execute the characters. 
Oh, get out of here, Clan Mulder. You jerk. And Karakazul, he's finally decided to attack it. Good lad. Good lad, Kazador Dragon Slayer. You need to take your home back. Uh, I'm just going to auto-resolve this. Although I say that, if I do auto-resolve, even with these odds, I bet I'm going to lose a bunch of miners. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Cool. Um, execute them. And they took it. They have their home back. We did it, guys. We kept them alive long enough. I know we didn't do a huge amount. We just threw some money at them. But I like to think that was enough. That and we did distract Clan Eshin considerably. I think he invited us to be at war with Clan Eshin, didn't he? Is that how that war started? I can't entirely remember, but I think that was. Blue Vipers are now attacking Karakazul. That's very annoying, but sure. Okay, got another Koopa. Not lovely. Well, uh, give that to somebody. Uh, we defeated... Wait, what do you mean removed? Why was it... That Okay, that means we ticked it off, actually. Yeah, sorry. I always think removed means that it got cancelled. Rather than, you know, it should take, like, grudge accomplished. But it, I guess it doesn't make any sense to do that. I guess it is removed. We're removing it from the book. Anyway. Under the outraged sight of Grimnir, the groby scum laid down mountains. Well, they died, didn't they? And we're still on satisfied, so good. We're keeping severity down. Despite all the nonsense. So, the uh, Kvin, Kazalid for Lady, population of the Hold, have denounced the quality of male stock from which to choose her husband. As a result, the majority of maidens have left in search of fresh beards. Her growth is down because... Because all our dudes are ugly. Alright. Cool. And, oh, magic resist. That's useful. Because he took a bunch of damage from the magic. And physical resist. So magic and physical resist. Because he defeated all the people. Even though he couldn't even fight one guy who was basically, like, had a had most of his limbs missing from the last battle. But, um, he's got a load of bonuses now. Yay. What a useless person. Uh, right, let's upgrade this dwarf keep. And... Let's, uh, let's retake the realms. No, let's, uh, let's build some artillery. This is going to take a while. This is definitely going to take a while. My word, yep. Oh well. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, also, actually, um, we're going to have less space, I thought. We're going to have three slots. Uh, but one of those is going to be the PK guard, and the other one is going to be this chap. So, so... I don't know what the other thing should be, really. Maybe, uh, maybe another Iron Breaker? Just because, you know, it's, it, it, this is the High King's army. I want it to be really good. I want it to be really good. Oh, he needs gyrocopters. Damn it. I keep forgetting about that. All right, we'll do two organ guns. Um, maybe I'll get rid of the, a couple of miners. Maybe I'll get rid of a couple of miners. And we'll get some gyrocopters. Uh, brimstone guns the way to go. Okay, they've got the anti-large and the armor piercing. So they're very good. Very good at that. But they've still got the bombs. So they can still do crowd control with the bombs. So, multi-purpose. They're much better. Um, so yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I definitely want the PK guard. Definitely want them. Right. And this guy's still chilling here. Should probably get rid of him now. Yeah. You can go. And, oh yes. I'm going to take this now. Cool. You can strike the runes. Good. Now let's take Darkhold. And good, we don't have to fight long for this one, so we can just take it. Because it's not a big garrison this time. So we have Darkhold as well now. Okay, finally making some progress against Flippin' Snitch. What a flipper. Oh, hang on a minute. Huh. I think these... Oh, and maybe Lamia. And Marak and Liberas. Really? Is that all Clan Eshin as well? Or is that... Uh, is that Queek? Uh, Clan Moors? Ooh, I don't know. Did Clan Moors get wiped out? I can't even remember. Right. You guys got some levels? I'd like to see that. Lovely. Uh, Blade Shield. And for you... The Rune of... Striking. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so... God, now what? 
think that's it for the turn, isn't it? Unassigned skill points. Oh. Yeah, and Foe Seeker for you. Good lad. Good lad. Um, but yeah, these guys have taken all of this area. So, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, not very happy spot, but it's mostly corruption and conquest. So, it should be okay soon. Military presence is putting it up a lot, and characters, but we get some buildings, faction, technologies, it... Yeah. We got a few things there. So hopefully it'll balance out soon. Because that corruption should be going down pretty quickly now, right? So going up a little bit because of characters. So there's still a couple of Skaven walking about here. But yeah, we just need to take this now. And I think that might be it for Clan Eshin. Hopefully. Uh, right, you take this. Good. If, uh, if Karakazul can take that, then Karakazul have their nation back. And I think that's... That's a very good thing. That makes me feel very good. I'm very happy about this. Uh, and you can go somewhere now, can't you? Let's go raid this again, shall we? Or... Do you want to hop over here? Let's see. Could he get over here from here? Maybe. I might just be able to get in here. Because if that's the case, I can send Grombrindle back. Because he needs to sack Greenskin lands for his quest missions, doesn't he? So, he needs to get over there. He really does. Uh, win two battles against uh, Norska. God, that's going to be difficult. Uh, w sack three Greenskin settlements. And win two battles against Greenskins. So basically, I need to have him come over here, sack it, wait a turn, and then sack it again. And I have to hope that this guy doesn't take it. So let's clear those war coordinates for now. Because there is that other Greenskin army. The Savage Orcs that declared war on us. So there is that as well. So maybe I can attack them. But they obviously don't have... Um, they don't have control of a territory. So I can't sack it. So be a bit annoying. Would be a bit annoying. Oh, Zufbar. You know what? I don't think Thorgrim can let Zufbar fool. I think Thorgrim's going to have to declare war on him. I, I think now that we got rid of Eshin, and uh, we freed up a lot of resources down in the south, I think we're going to have to declare war on the vampire counts, because they are, they're not only sort of uh, just completely destroying the sort of realm of men, but they're, they're even attacking the mountains as well. And we can't, we can't have that. Oh, Goro's deathmaker needs to go as well. Jerk. Okay. Stranger comes. Refuse. Refuse. A cloaked stranger from the misshrouded lands of Albion approaches with a request. He is of sinister aspect, but assures you that his intentions are good. Nah, get out of here. Oh, mighty lord. Oh, okay. The fates have surely hmm. selected Thanks. you for greatness. Thanks to my guidance, your tremendous power grows as if driven by some divine power. Your enemies tremble before you. Cool. So, uh, there must be more dwarf expeditions deployed. Let them take the regions in the High King's name, and wipe out as many grudges regarding those who stand against the dwarf race. In this way, the Karazankor will be returned to its rightful glory. The Karazankor will be great again, for Thorgrim has sworn it, and the High King never reneges on an oath. Every dwarf worth his beard bears the same bond. There are still regions outside of dwarfen control. And they must be brought uh, under Karaz Karak's dominion as soon as possible. Yeah, they do. Uh, right. You there. Can you... No. no can't. Oh, yes, he can. He can reach. <gasps> Hooray! Okay, that saves a lot of time. God, trying to get here, by the way, if you're playing a mortal. God, it takes a long time. It's so difficult. I say a mortal. I mean, you're mortal if you're Dwarven. So, you know, if you're playing as, like, anyone that can't use the underway, basically, it, it takes forever to get here, because you've actually got to go around all of this, and it's all, like, dense sort of mountain terrain, so you move, like, this far per turn. It's pathetic. It's really bad. Really annoying. <laughs> uh, iron Mining Pit. Good. And uh, Mount Greyhag. Uh... Hmm... 
Yep, let's get walls, even though we don't necessarily need them here anymore. I'm still going to get them. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, I would like this place to be happier, though. Really would. Really would. Hmm. My military presence doesn't need to be doing much for it anymore. Uh, right, yes, you head up here. Good lad. I think I might need to hurry him along. Cool. All right. Good stuff. Um, Black Rag, you can get me more money. And do we need to put growth up even further? Probably not. Honestly. Probably not. We're nearly, nearly maxed out. Right. Uh, and yeah. That's all fine. Karakongo. I mean, we've got the best walls here. So, we've got a ruddy good garrison, honestly. This is very good. But, it can still get overwhelmed. It can still definitely get overwhelmed. So, God, what can I get here? Alright, how happy is it? Not very at all, because of the corruption. Ugh. Rubbish. Yeah, I feel like we do need to start recruiting things here, but all we can get is... Actually, I guess we could get... Slightly better stuff. Um... Because I could just use the, uh, what's it called? Um, global recruitment. I think we might have to. I think we might have to. Uh, I mean, I will stock up with some miners. Might as well. And for global, um, I mean, a bunch more iron drakes would be really cool. But I think we probably just need some iron breakers. Yeah, yeah, even then, like, it's 3,500 to get them. So, yeah, I will get some some miners as well. And for you, Grimnir's heirs. That's all I want. I just want I just want the iron breakers to be good. That's all I'm after. But, yeah, it's going to be very expensive. It's going to cost us a lot. It's going to take a lot of turns. But I need to make sure that that place holds... Indefinitely. If I can fill it with iron breakers, so have all the walls covered in iron breakers, then I'd never have to worry about it getting taken. And uh, I could just I didn't camp out here, even though it's only earning two grand, and this army is probably going to end up costing more than that. That's still fine. You know, it keeps this safe, and um, it means that I can start making a profit destroying uh, the vampires. Because I will just be running through raising everything. Um, everything I can. I won't be taking any of this stuff. I will just be raising it. Even though I could get gold from Castle Drakenhof, I th I'm going to raise it. I'm still just going to raise everything, I think. Because, yeah, I'm trying to help the people out. I'm trying to help humans out. Let them take over. But I need to wipe out the Vampire Coast. Vampire Coast? Vampire Counts. Um, that's the plan. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit rough, I think. It's going to be a little rough. Uh, also... I was going to start recruiting other units here, wasn't I? But I spent all my money. Huh. I had a lot of money, too. Let's get rid of that. And that, for now. Even though they will be earning me more money later, but I want to get this, this party moving. So, Glimstone Guns. Let's get two of them. How many do we need for the quest? Uh, It's not Glimril, is it? Is it the axe? Yes, it is. Have two of any of the following unit. So, those two should do it. Because there's two of them. And two is what does it. It's really very simple, guys. It's really very simple. And I'm just going to leave it with 18 units for now. I'll probably recruit some more miners at some point. I don't know. And this guy. Oh, actually. It's going to take him a little longer to get around. So. And I'm probably going to go this way. Start with uh, Karag Dromar. I can tell these guys to go attack it when I sack it. And then I can take, you know, destroy Schwartz off and then. Yeah. Onwards and onwards. The annoying thing is, though, the really annoying thing with this is I will be suffering attrition no matter what I do. Because if I don't take over a place, then I can't then go into the garrison stance, so I'll be suffering attrition. It's going to hurt. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a tough old war, I think. But should be very exciting. And all right, Clan Eshin still has something, but uh, nothing major. Manfred von Karstein. He needs to go. He's got a bunch of necromancers and things in his army. Like, it's... Yeah, it's going to be a tough army. Oh, God, no. Not you already. 
Oh, I'm not ready for you. Oh, that's not good. I'm not ready for this. Oh god, more of them coming. Okay, we got problems. We definitely got problems. I wasn't expecting this so soon. Crap. Oh yeah, war herd as well. Oh dear. Okay, given how much stuff is up here, I really don't think there's a, like any way to hold this. I really don't. Because, I mean, it's a good garrison. It's definitely a good garrison, but army after army, and there will be no, no time to replenish. Like, absolutely none. Uh, luckily, though, these guys are actually at war with puppets of chaos. Huh. But not other things. Just the puppets. Um, but yeah. Yeah, these guys aren't allied, so that's something. Hopefully they're getting their way a bit. Like, getting each other's way. Um, do I just get all these regiments right now? Ah, oh, I really don't want all these guys wasted again, but I've got no choice. I need to try and hold this as best I can. I really do. I really do. So let's get some more miners as well. Well, there goes all our money. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to click that one. Oh, well, I've got a load of money back. That's something. Uh, so I can't get miners from here, too. Nice. That's... That'd be good if I can do it. I mean, they're crap units, but I can get them in a single turn. So, you know, bodies, okay? I just need bodies. <laughs> so, just those miners. It'll have to do, you know? It'll help. I can cover the walls with them, they can man towers. You know, it's it's better. Oh, I'll build that, because I can, I guess. Oh, God. Problems. Definitely got problems. Okay. Oh. Oh, damn. So where is the last clan action? Do they have Nagashisa? I honestly don't know. Because they're not suffering attrition, these guys, which means they do have a province somewhere. But where? Is it the ones south of us? The other ones? You know, those settlements I thought might be quick. I don't know. I really don't. But we can't take this over yet. Because we don't have any money. So... Alright, this one. Uh, so, throughout the old world, well, throughout the world, the old ones left a vast troves of power for used by their most trusted servants. To prevent such power falling into the wrong hands, they placed wards and cryptographic locks over them. As millennia have passed, these wards have weakened, but the arcane locks remain. To access a treasure, solve the puzzle. Solitude is always desired. So, um, uh, let's see. So there's only one of those symbols. So, that could be it that, you know, solitude is always preferable. Uh, that one, there's plenty of red and a couple of those. This one, there's a couple of those symbols, plenty of blue. This one, there's, uh, yep, a couple of those symbols as well. So, this one. Yep. Sword of Bloodshed. Eh. Yeah. I mean, fine. Nothing great. It's fine. But yeah, so that's good. So we can take this stuff over. But yeah, it could be that this is the problem. Oh, it's only chaos corruption here. <gasps> is this... Is this the... Is there a, Was there a chaos invasion from the south as well? Is that what's happened? Is that what's happened? Was that all from the... Another chaos invasion that I wasn't aware of? That comes from that part of the map? Because it might have been. That may have been. I'm not sure. But... Cool? If that's the case? Certainly interesting. Alright. Uh... Oh, there is a lad there. He's nearby. I saw him go invisible around here. So I wonder, if I declare war on these guys and attack here, will they come as reinforcements and let me kill them? Also, do I want to waste my time fighting a bunch of beastmen? I mean, the answer to that is yes. Because I can't let them live. And don't worry about it. I'll do it myself. Okay, so he's going to run. Which may give us a... Really? All the way over there? Okay, that seemed like an awfully long way away. Huh. Alright. Uh, probably not a good place to ambush. Probably going to get spotted. Ah, here we go. Opportunity to intercept. We found them. We found them. Um, so they went to ambush, but we spotted them. And they're basically dead. Already. 
So that's good. Do we need to fight this? Nah. Am I going to, though? Of course. Of course I am. Uh, let's get extra two grand. Thank you. You're going to run further than I can reach again, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, actually. Maybe? Can I reach? Oh, wow, on 0%. That's brilliant. Well played, boy. Well played. Good stuff. So, still him, though, sadly. It's a shame he wasn't near enough. Potion of Strength. That's pretty good. Plus 50% armor piercing and weapon damage. I like that a lot. And uh, Teller of Tales. Ooh, two Teller of Tales. Lots of, lots of tale tellers. Very good. Right, you guys get some level ups. Uh, blade Shield, please. Thank you. And for you, Rune or Athen Rune. Oh, and uh, I'm actually going to give you the Rune of Parrying. Excellent. Excellent news. Love it. Yeah, he's still alive, which is a pain. Because he might end up raising an entire army. So, that's a bit annoying. That's a bit annoying. But, um, no, no, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. There's no, there's no, nothing else there. Uh, oh, you guys. Well, I say you guys. You can run up there. And can you get any? No, you can't. Just checking. Just checking. Um, but yeah, let's charge him back up there. He might not make it, but he might. He might make it. He might be able to help. We will see. Um, right, so my income sucks. Uh, my income, very bad. Very bad income. Not happy about that. But, mm, things are looking up, I'd say. We, we have a very, very good army here. Um, this one, although it's like a novelty, it's very sturdy. And uh, this is actually the worst army we have. You know, with Grand Brindle. It's the worst army we have. We need to change these Dwarf Warriors for something. Long beards, I reckon. I think just having long beards um, suits him, I think. Because it's all about, you know, he's, he's an old dwarf, right? He's a bit of a legend. It would be all the old, the old dwarves, all the long beards who would, who would hang out with him, I think. You know, I think he'd rally them more than anybody else. I mean, everyone would look up to him, but I think he wants a bunch of, you know, people he's, he's worked with in the past. And that's going to be the long beards, isn't it? So, guys, this is going to be it for today. If you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.